Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. We are going to solve a new problem from lead code today. Intersection of two arrays. Given there are two arrays, we need to write a function to compute their intersection. And there is some notes. Each element is in the result should appear as many times as it shown in both arrays. The results can be in any order. So in the first example, 1, 2, 2 and 1 that is first array and 2, 2 that is second array. So 2 is repeating like 2 times here and here that's why the output is 2. And in this case in the second example 4, 9, 5 is the first array. 9 is repeated like couple of times and 4 is repeated couple of times and 8. So but 4 and 9 are single here. So that's why we written 4 and 9 as an output array. Let's try to write some code for this. So basically the idea that uh, <coughs> I'm going to e employ here is we will build up two um, dictionaries and compare them essentially. So I will so for example for here right so I'll declare a dictionary with uh, integer and integer uh, call it as map1 right and we will have map2 right So we will fill the map 1 first, so if at all the map 1 contains the element, right, we will just update the count of that element, otherwise what we are going to do is map 1 of that add I comma one right so this is what we are going to do and it will be similar for nums2 also basically at all but we are going to use map2 this time right right so yeah so that's what it is right so now we have map 1 and map 2 so we need to compare the map 1 and map 2 and return the intersection so let's write another method let's say private right for now let's keep void uh, compare maps right so we will take that and put it here right so for each where a key value pair in the map one right if map two dot contains right QP dot key if it contains key then we will do something so let's return, return a list of integers here which are essentially like adding the re result of this method right That's it. so if at all it contains right then we will have to add int num is equal to uh, math dot min of uh, map 
one dot value or map two of kvp dot key right so that's what it is so we'll have to select the minimum number in the first example right so second second example four nine is four is like single time here and four is two times here so but we have to give it the minimum number of times that is the intersection right so that's the reason why we are going to take the math that min so right and so that many times we are going to append to the list right and start add kvp dot key it's not there obviously we don't bother right so finally return ants right yes so now we need to call this compare maps so basically uh, since we are doing this right so we want to do the we want to pass map one and map two map one map two right and let's catch the answer here right return answer to array right let's run this code and see what right so that's the answer so let's put in the other thing also in here right So, but that's the expected answer, right? Yes. Okay. That's good to go. So, this is good to go. We can make one, uh, what do you say, optimization here. So, if, if uh, the number of elements in nums1 is l less than nums2, right? So the way that we have put here, it works. But what if the number of elements in nums2 is far, far more than number of elements in num, number of nums1, right? So that's when we can just employ a simple optimization here, right? So since we have converted this to maps already, I'm going to use the maps uh, count variable, basically. Um, map one dot count is greater than map two dot count then what we are going to do is pass in the map one in place of map two so that's that's how we're going to do right otherwise yeah map one will be the first one the answer shouldn't actually say change anything it should be same yeah let's go ahead and submit and see what happens yay it got accepted nice so if you like this video please share and subscribe share with your friends thanks for watching we'll meet you next time with another leak or problem. Thank you.